Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Check this out. These are the new Master Air Screw Stealth Props for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. They do come in multiple colors. So we have the green on this side. Of course, I put the orange on this side. Hey, I want to be different. So for colors, we have a lime green, an orange, and black. Now, let me quickly show you what you get in the package. Check this out. Here we have the DJI Mini 3 Pro with the stock propellers. Now, if you want to spice up the colors, you're going to need the Master Air Screw Stealth Props to make it look pretty amazing. This is a close-up of the packaging the propellers come in, and take note, they are made in the USA. Now if you order these propellers, let me show you what you will receive. First off, you're going to get a full set of propellers for your drone, and you're also going to get the hardware, and that's a good thing because the DJI propeller screws are very tiny, and there's a good chance you're going to lose them. The first thing you'll notice about the Master Air Screw props is that they're very shiny compared to the stock DJI props. Comparing the two props, you will notice some differences. First off, the Master Air Screw prop has a different tip than that of the DJI stock prop. In addition, there's a different angle to the blade of the Master Air Screw prop than there is on the DJI stock prop. And now for a weight test of the stock props, please note that I do have a Captain Drone sticker that adds to the weight, but we still come out to 249 grams. Now let's try the Master Air Screw props. I have two different colors on and let's see what the weight is. It looks like it's 249 grams as well. So the Master Air Screw props certainly enhance the look of your Mini 3 Pro and the great thing is they're plug and play. They fit just like the DJI props. So besides the cool factor, what exactly is the reason you would get the Master Air Screw Stealth props over your DJI props? Well, let me tell you, I'm on the website and I'm going to read off what they say. First off, they say there's improved efficiency. You will get one more minute of flight time. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but that's what they say. Improved sound pitch. They say they sound better than the previous ones, probably a lower pitch. Well, here, let me show you a sound test. Check this out. Next, they say they look cooler, and I will agree with that, they do look pretty cool. For all Master Air Screw props that are brightly colored, they always say there's improved safety due to the brightness of the props. I think the safety is more for you, so you don't stick your fingers in, you can see where the prop is spinning, because the color does show up when they're spinning. And finally, they're 100% compatible. They're plug and play. You take off your old props, you put these ones on. Uh, even your grandma could do it, it's so easy. All right, so let me do some more tests on these. Now, I really wish it was sunny out here today, because then these props would just pop. <laughs> they would pop because of the colors are so bright but it's kind of dull so I don't know how well this camera's picking up the bright colors but uh, for my next test I haven't flown this I've flown this in my basement but I haven't flown it outdoors so I'm gonna fly it out here in all three modes those are the three modes you know like scene normal sport I don't think I'm gonna notice anything other than the colors look cooler you won't notice any difference in speed because DJI makes all their drones to be GPS controlled for speed so if you buy a camera drone like a Mavic or a Phantom or anything like this it's controlled by GPS doesn't matter what you do to it the GPS controls it because all the settings that are on here to show you how high you are how you're going the flight controller inside it's all designed for what was set by DJI so they don't want you to exceed the angle the speed or anything However, the props might get up to speed faster. Anyways, I'll just fly it around here and try this out. Here we go. All right, our Mini 3 is down there, and I will say the propellers look spectacular. So uh, let's take off. Here we go. So they're spinning right now. Can you see the green and the orange? I can see it. It's quite clear. I don't know if my hat camera is picking it up here, but I'm bouncing my head up and down looking at it. All right, let's go up in the air and see if we can see those cool colors. There we go. Yeah, I can still see them. Don't know if the camera's picking it up. Maybe I'll go up a little higher here. How's that? There you go. Oh, against the dull sky, maybe not so much. Not so much that way. Now I can see them. Here we go. I'll grab this GoPro and maybe that will see the colors better. You see them? See the green and the orange? They stand out to my eyes. They stand out really well, even in this dull lighting. Looks really good. So, yeah, that's kind of spectacular looking how things uh, look on this little guy. Go forward in scene mode, nice and slow. There we are. We'll do a we'll do a loop here. Cause scene mode, when you turn yaw in scene mode, it's like really, really slow to yaw. There we go. Just so everything looks smooth as we come around here. Looks good. 
So I can't see the camera. Uh, you're seeing the camera right now, how it looks. You tell me if you see any jello flying around in scene mode and I'll do the same thing in normal mode. Here we go, I'm gonna flick it to normal. It's gonna be faster. I'm gonna go forward and spin it to taking corners here at high speeds in normal mode without hitting the tree. There we go, without hitting my head. There you go. Do you see any jello? You could see as we look at the drone flying around here in a circle, it's jerking all over the place, but do you see any jello in the image? And let's spin it the other way. Bring it back this way. Bring it down low, right up my head. There we go. Last one, I'll try is sport mode. Now sport mode, you should put it way up in the air, but I'm gonna keep it low to the ground and try not to thunder into anything. <laughs> it's just narrow passage down this way. Let's try it here. There we go, sport mode. There is no obstacle avoided to sport mode, by the way. It just goes like a bat out of hell and it will crash into anything in front of it. All right, so forward, look good. Coming backwards. This is sport mode with no braking system. I'm getting the hell out of the way. There it goes, brakes. <laughs> Hey puppy! <laughs> it's alright, just don't steal my cameras. See our puppy friend back there. Right. And Cooper's checking out the camera. There he goes. As long as he doesn't pee on it. DJI Mini 3 is so quiet that it doesn't affect the dog doesn't even notice this here drone flying around. He's too busy with the ball and everything else. So that's pretty good. A lot of times uh, animals when they uh, hear prop sounds, it's high pitched and it kind of drives them up the wall. But I guess these props from Master Airs Group didn't even make the dog notice them. Okay, I'm just checking the braking system. Okay, braking system. What's up? <laughs> Joe's doing the what's up thing. All right, all right, I gotta bring this back. This is turning into a silly review. I gotta bring this back here. All right, I didn't notice any difference with these props. I didn't notice anything, like cornering anything, other than they look fantastic. They might be a little bit more quiet. You've heard the sound test. So yeah, I think they're pretty cool. Here, I'm gonna stick a little camera on top of my Mini 3. Hopefully it doesn't affect the GPS. Just point it at the props and fly it around just to give you some weird looking video. So check this out. All right, I don't know if you can see that. I have a little Insta360 Go 2 camera and it is pointing to the rear just to get some shots as it's flying of the brightly colored props. So let's start it up and go up in the air. There we go. No props hitting the camera, so she should fly fine. There we go. So there's the camera looking back at me. And if there's any vibrations on the drone, the camera will pick up the vibrations that's looking back at me. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't notice any difference with these props on other than as I've mentioned many times in the video, the cool factor, they do look cool. And any of you out there who would like to look cool with your Mini 3 Pro, well then pick yourself up a set. The links to the props are below. Go check them out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions on these props, post them below and I'll get back to you. But for now I say thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Till then I say bye.